I'm meteorologist Chris Kubal. Here's a look at your most accurate weather forecast. As we go ahead overnight, there's more thunderstorms in the works. We're going to be watching for one too much rainfall in select spots and also another round of possible damaging winds coming in on this one. This is well after midnight on arrival. Nice evening out prior. Speaking on that too much rainfall department, we have flood warnings across much of the state of Iowa, particularly some minor flooding in the Des Moines River Basin. Also the Skunk River, the Iowa River and Cedar River, some moderate to major flooding in some spots in eastern Iowa. Checking out the river forecast, still some more of that moderate flooding expected in places out east, especially in the next three days. And again, along the Des Moines River, some minor flooding will be in the works. We do have a dry evening. That's good, but those storms back in once again after two o'clock entering the western part of the local five area and out after the morning drive. You may have to deal with this in the metro as you go to work. Still holding the strength too. I am concerned on damaging winds. A couple of isolated cells possible out earlier than that, but here's the scene at three o'clock arriving from the west. Damaging wind in here. I do have the wind gusts plotted and we're going to be seeing an uptick along this line as it moves through. There should be a weakening as it moves east of I-35, but still I think that strength is going to be held for some of the communities, especially west of I-35. Additional redevelopment through the midday, pushing off to the east, eventually clearing skies out west, and we'll see a spread in those temperatures as such, whether you're under the clouds or seeing the influence of some of that colder air coming in behind these storms. Level three of five targeting Nebraska and extreme western Iowa. Again, you see that weakening trend as it moves to the east and then redeveloping again as it pushes eastward into Friday. Here's the threats that we're tracking, especially damaging wind. This looks to be a clear signal for that lower end on the tornado and large hail spectrum, but also watch the southern end of that line, especially closest to the I-80 corridor where we may see too much rain. Watch future cast here and you notice there is a swath where we will see some higher end totals and that's going to be the concern. Otherwise, widespread amounts half of an inch to an inch. You see future cast with the breakdown here going forward. Yes, stretching through, uh, especially in that two to eight o'clock window. Tonight, 63 degrees is the overnight low and then 76 for Friday. We'll get a chance to clear out into central Iowa and kick those temperatures up for Saturday. We're to the upper end of the 70s in most locations. But otherwise, great start to the holiday weekend. Rain is back in Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's going to be pushing in out of Missouri. We'll watch for a couple of strong storms there. Into Memorial Day, some isolated showers or a thunder shower, mainly into northern Iowa. Otherwise, a pretty nice one there for festivities that will be held outside. Temperatures fairly steady in the 70s for now, but may kick upwards towards the 80s next weekend.